Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we're going to be starting a brand new series. This is a series on Bayesian epistemology. This is going to be a really important series, both for arguments for science as well as some arguments for religion. It's understanding this epistemology that's based on the ideas of different degrees of belief. But before we get into this too much, what is Bayesian epistemology exactly? Maybe it's an old British man being told his wife has been cheating on him. Bay, see Anne, piss them all out, Jay. Or perhaps it's a French philanderer inquiring where his friend and the assistant principal went. Oh, Bez, he and a P is them a la G? Probably not. Bayesian epistemology is, in fact, a formalization of inductive logic in combination with a new inductive test for epistemic rationality. What does that mean? Basically, it's epistemology, the study of knowledge, and logic surrounding beliefs that one has a degree of certainty in. Generally, epistemology deals with beliefs that you're either on or off with or suspending judgment on, but not beliefs that you can have shades of gray. Bayesian epistemology is going to talk about how you can have degrees of belief and how we can do logic and do epistemology with that idea. To understand Bayesian epistemology, we're going to start off with some new laws of logic. These are going to be delving into the laws of probability. Then we're going to do a video on Bayes' theorem. This is a theorem by the Reverend Thomas Bayes. And we're going to talk about the Monty Hall fallacy, an important fallacy both for science and for religious arguments. Then we're going to talk about inductive rationality, how you can be rational and deductively rational while using inductive arguments with the Dutch book arguments. Then we're going to go into the heart of Bayesian confirmation theory, really what that means, and we're going to deal with the paradox of dogmatism in relation to that. Then we're going to take a look at some different kinds of Bayesianism. We're going to look at the difference between subjective and objective Bayesianism, what those terms mean. Finally, we're going to look at some objections that myself and others have posed for Bayesian epistemology. If you want to get ahead of us on this series, you should really check out the SEP articles on Bayes' theorem and Bayesian epistemology. That's where I'm going to be drawing a lot of the information for this series. Check them out. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.